Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to bring you guys a review of the SwitchBot Smart Humidifier. Now, if you're not aware, a humidifier is designed to add moisture into your room. And this is typically done through the use of a mist. And there's several reasons you might use one. It might help your room feel fresher, it might help cool you down in hot weather, and it can also help with things like dry skin. And the SwitchBot humidifier is a humidifier that does just that, but with some extra smart controls allowing you to control it using things like your voice and your phone, and also to set schedules. Now SwitchBot very kindly sent me one of these to review and I've been using it for just over a month. So here are my thoughts on it. And I wanna start off by talking about price. Now I'm gonna be honest, prior to this video, I had no idea how much a humidifier cost in general. And the SwitchBot humidifier costs around 70 pounds. Now compared to other humidifiers, particularly of its size, this makes it pretty affordable, especially given the smart features that it comes with. When it comes to design, SwitchBot have given it a rounded design with a white base and a white top. And then the middle area where the water goes is clear. This allows you to easily see the water level. Whilst the device itself is relatively small, it's certainly not small enough to comfortably sit on most bedside tables. That being said, it's also not huge and measures seven inches wide and long and then 11.6 inches tall. The front of the device has a button and an indicator light and then the rear has an input for the mains power. The side also has a drawer where you can add in essential oils if you want to add that into the mist. In the box, you get the device itself and a plug plus some simple instructions for getting you up and running. The device itself has a three and a half litre tank and it can cover 20 to 40 metres squared. It has an auto shut off mode built in for when the water levels get low as well. And then finally, it has a max runtime of 48 hours. When it comes to using it, your phone is the thing that allows you to set the efficiency. And you can adjust this between one and 100%. Essentially, the higher the percentage, the more mist that comes out. The nozzle on top of the device can also rotate, allowing you to choose the direction of that mist. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth, and you're also gonna to want to pick up a SwitchBot Hub Mini if you want to use things like voice control and have an out of home control. The Hub Mini does cost an extra 30 pounds, but in my opinion, if you've got more than one SwitchBot device or you wanna make your remote control smart, it is worth picking up. I'll put a link below to my review of that Hub Mini as well. If you do have a Hub Mini and you enable the cloud services, then you can use it with Amazon's voice assistant, Google Assistant, IFTTT, Apple Siri shortcuts, and a few other things as well. When it comes to setup, this is super easy. All you need to do really is put the device together, including rinsing the filter as per the instructions, and then you fill it up and switch it on. At that point, you open the SwitchBot app and it generally picks up the device straight away. You then click on that device and go through the process of adding it. This includes things like giving it a name and also assigning it to a room in your house. From there, you're also gonna to want to switch on the cloud features and maybe set up some automations as well. And this brings us on to talk about the humidifier and where it's actually a good device, especially with those smart features. So once you've got it set up, you can trigger it on or off using the button on the front of the device, but then also via your phone. And then if you have set up those cloud features, you can also turn it on or off using your voice. I found that all of this works well every single time. However, the thing I really want to talk about, and for me, this is where smart home stuff gets really interesting, is the ability to set up automations. And there's a few different ways you might automate this device. So firstly, you might just go for a simple timer where you want it to switch off after a certain amount of time. This can easily be done via the app. You might also set it to turn on or off at different times of the day. Maybe you want it on for an hour when you first go to sleep or something. Secondly, you can also use scenes in the SwitchBot app and hook it up to some of their other devices. A really good example of this is the SwitchBot Meter or the SwitchBot Meter Plus. Now these are devices I've reviewed before and they're basically devices that tell you the temperature and humidity level of your room. If you use these and automations with the SwitchBot humidifier, you might do something like set it up so that it comes on when the humidity level in your room is at a certain level and maybe turns off when it's at a certain level as well. This is a way of controlling the humidity in your room. And of course, the great thing about having a meter is you can see that the humidifier is actually making your room more humid. And with all of these automations, you can also set the power of a mist. So whether you want to have a lot or a little. It's also worth saying at this point in the video that in the app, you can also turn off the light on the front of the device. This is really useful if you want to use this device in your room and you don't want to be disturbed by that light at night. And so finally for this review, before I give you guys my verdict, let's talk about how this device feels to use. So the mist that comes from it certainly makes your room feel more refreshing. And this is something that's really useful during hot weather. And I really wish SwitchBot had sent this to me at the start of August when we had the crazy heat wave over here. And the great thing about this is that it does make you feel more comfortable. The device is also pretty quiet. This means you could easily have it on at night without it disturbing you. 
So all in all, is the SwitchBot Smart Humidifier any good? So the SwitchBot Smart Humidifier, as you've gathered throughout this video, is a smart take on a device that's been around for many, many years. And actually, particularly with the automations and when you can use it with other devices like the Meter Plus, I'd say this is where a device being smart is a really good idea. It allows you to turn it on or off with your phone and set timers and delays and things like that, and also control the intensity of the mist. In addition to that, being able to monitor the humidity with some of the other accessories means it really is a smart device. If you guys have got any questions, do stick them below and I will answer those because this is a device I'm still using. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel to be first to see about new videos when I release them. And then finally, if you do want to pick one up, I have put a link below to both SwitchBot website and Amazon. Now, both of those are affiliate links, which means I will get a small portion of what you spend if you do buy through that. And that just helps me keep this channel going. I hope you guys have found this review helpful and I will see you guys again soon. Oh,